Eating the skinny, Kermit and Miss Biggie pulling no punches on late night TV. Their highly publicized split turning even uglier on the set of Jimmy Kimmel Live. Things started off okay when they made their entrance, but once Jimmy sat them down, the emotions came pouring out. Miss Piggy pointed to Kermit's web defeat as one of the reasons for their split, something she claims she wasn't aware of, and that's when it got just awkward. <laughs> the only time that I ever came across a frog in school, I dissected it. Ah! Yeah, I, I bet you, I bet you ripped his heart out too. Yeah, yeah. Well, at I least he had him. one. I have to what? say, this is genuinely uncomfortable. Oh. It really is. <laughs> Uh, well, despite the tough moments, the two were relatively professional. Kermit preferred not to discuss the new lady in his life because she's not a public figure. Oh, well, Miss Piggy says she's going out every night and having fun, but if last night's appearance is any indication, there's still a lot of unresolved issues there. Oh, we'll have to see how it plays out when their new show premieres tonight on ABC. Well, turning now to another uncomfortable situation, actor Ryan Reynolds finding out that his friend was trying to sell pictures of his child. Yeah, in the new issue of GQ magazine, Reynolds explains that one of his oldest friends had, quoting here, been shopping pictures of my baby around. Reynolds, of course, recently became a father when his fellow actor wife, Blake Lively, had their daughter, James. After learning of the attempted sale, Reynolds confronted the friend and apparently the conversation did not go well because he doesn't anticipate seeing or talking to him again. That's a tough one. That I can't believe somebody would, yeah. yeah. Okay, so moving on to some drama in the ballroom with the first elimina elimination of the new season of Dancing with the Stars. But first, at the top of the leaderboard from last night, Bindi Irwin earning the judges' best score of 25 out of 30 with a rockin' performance set to the sounds of fellow Australians ACDC. Bindi said that their song, you Shook Me was a favorite of her late father and reminded her of the time that they spent together when she was young. Yeah, it was kind of emotional there. Uh, controversial celebrity cook Paula Dean danced the rumba, and the judges liked her improvement over last week, giving her a score of 19. Whoa, Paula Dean! Looking sexy. Getting hot in here! Gary Busey, not so sexy, <laughs> but he did improve. But he ended up on the chopping block after a stiff but enthusiastic performance. How did Chaka Khan get the lowest score oh. with a 15, which seemed to do in the legendary singer? Unfortunately, she's the first one to be eliminated from season 21, but she left on a positive note, saying that she made great friends. Good genes or good doctors? Oh, no. <laughs> good, 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 genes. Genes. Good, good genes. Good genes. <laughs> All right. Well, lastly, here's some more dancing for you, but this is sort of a bit of dirty dancing. Yeah, at a recent Madonna concert, the Queen of Pop Pulled up Taylor Swift by bringing a famous friend on stage. This moment wasn't so PG, however. That friend, CNN host and former World News Now anchor Anderson Cooper. Yeah, she made him do some dancing first, but then Madonna got naughty. Oh my God. Oh Lord. Bending Cooper over and spanking him in front of the Brooklyn crowd. It didn't stop there. Madonna gave Anderson the bachelor party treatment with a snack full of innuendo, a banana with which she offered options, but Cooper just ate the banana instead. Raunchy. He was a good sport about it, huh? So this is our future.